we need to have agile thinking. We need to have open-mindedness in terms of we are going to have new ways of working, new data coming in. So we need to adapt to that. Think differently. If the patient was in the room, what would you do differently? How would you collaborate? Where would you focus your time? And it takes time to really get to know the people you're collaborating with, with uh, what their objectives are. And I think that patience factor is, is very important because I know in the past I probably rushed and thought everything was easy based on my expectations and, and that wasn't the case. And I, so again, I think give yourself that time to, to you know, work through the solutions and um, I think you ultimately get to a better place as a result. Everything we do is collaboration and not just in this role, but all through your career, you're working as part of a team. And what evolves as you progress through the grades and through the different job levels is really the, the breadth of the collaboration, I would say. So you I do believe that everybody should feel able to challenge the questions or the answers that are being, you know, that are being discussed. It's actually a way to measure the engagement, you know, is to have those disagreements, is to have those discussions. If everybody agrees from day one, you're not having engagement, in my opinion, you're having compliance, and these are two di very different things. Well, there's a saying, say, leader brings the weather. And as leader, we need to exhibit the behavior and show up on um, positive and show up and bring people together. And I've also learned that it's critical to surround yourself with people who are different from you and actually who are better than you in, in multiple ways. So having a strong leadership team around you is, is really important. Our job is to make sure that those who do that work, they are engaged, they're happy, they're delivering uh, the right results as efficiently as they can, saving time or saving money in some way. So it's our Recognizing the strengths of your own teams and encouraging the right people to to take those risks whilst allowing you know others to be the voice of reason. And by doing that, you can create a balanced culture of innovation across your team. As a leader, it's important to help encourage your staff to be innovative and take risks and experiment. But it's also important for leaders to have a vision and be, and be able to get people excited about that vision. So I think our statistical programming organizations in the recent years, they have turned somehow into data hubs. So today we are somehow the gatekeepers of our data assets. I think we have an obligation as a programmer to understand what is the best way we can share information with patients um, and investigators and collaborators health authorities, and even journalists or, or watchdogs, and frankly, even our competitors. As we figure out how to do that, it will only help science to go faster. And I think it's a glorious time to be a programmer. Now